All right, all right, we're back. We are back. The J Talks Today's Relationship J Show. J Talks Today's Relationship Show. Show. All hey, right. Jay. All right, on the first day of the Firecracker Month. Oh, all right, it's not the first day, the first show of yes. the Firecracker Month. Fireworks. So, mm hmm. Fireworks is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. All right, they already been popping them. Yes. All right, mm -hmm. there ain't no surprise. <laughs> all right. All right, so that that just brings it to this point. To this point. That we're going to be talking about today. What are we going to be talking about today? Jane? All right, Miss Debbie. Fireworks. Miss mm. Debbie, Miss <laughs> Debbie, Miss Debbie. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 like they be saying in the hood. <laughs> All right. Uh, today's topic is. Why are we so surprised when we've <laughs> seen the signs? <laughs> I like why? Yeah, why are we so surprised when we done seen the sign? When we've seen the sign. Now I'm gonna say it a couple of different ways. Mm -hmm. Alright, I just, just said the kind of the the hood. <laughs> now here, here's the ebonic way. Why are you so surprised? Ain't you seen it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna put a little <laughs> religious twist on it. Okay. You know. All right. Let me get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Wow. Are you so surprised uh, when you see the signs? The sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Jay. Why, why are why you, are you so, so surprised, surprised when you, when you see the sign? The sign? And you know what? And let me just say, let me just start off by saying mm. that it is a true. That is so true. Mm. So surprised. Mm. I mean, like it's shocking. Mm. You know, like I can't believe this. Mm. Really? Right. When mm. you saw the signs all along. Mm. Okay, so the signs were there. Mm. The red light was flashing so huge. Mm. Okay, but we turned a blind eye to the signs, Jay. Mm. Why do we do that? Why do we do that? All right, before I answer, I'm going <laughs> to put this in for folk that are, that are listening to the show. Now, you, if you have some comments that you want to join right. in on this show, yes. on yes. this live show, the call in number is 931 220 7063, and we will put you right on in. Yes. We want to hear what you yes, have to say. Yes, we want to hear what you say. have to say. Yes. Mm. All right. Why do we turn the blind? We know eye? you ain't going to tell why you. you know. <laughs> but anyway, we want to hear what no, you. No, I tell it. I tell it. Wrong, I, I know, tell it. I'm, it's know, in I'm the healing chamber. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm talking about the caller. Okay. You know, they, they, they might would. They might. They might would. Well, you, know, you know, never know. That's right. You know, I believe it. Yeah. I believe it can happen. Yeah. I guess I've seen them signs <laughs> too. You know. uh, <laughs> I won't be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, all right. So as you was, as you were, I guess putting that in my corner. Yes. Huh? Uh, yes all right. Okay. Yes. Why, Jay? Um. Well, I, I'm gonna say the why towards the end. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm okay. gonna say that. Wow, you know, okay. you know how they do the movies. You know, uh -huh. they like to set up the suspense. They get the, uh -huh. you know, they they take you through all these scenes okay. and everything. Then, then at the end, you finally, you know, you get the finale. So, okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, let's go through these different scenes. Okay. Okay. All right. Jack. Just like a movie. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's re let's do replay. All okay. Right? Like they say, replay. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Uh, you, you have seen this person. Uh, it almost sound like my ignorant jokes in a way. Yep. But it, you have seen this person. Uh, and they have been, uh, I guess I'm, I'm going to say, 
talk to the ladies. Mm -hmm. All right, it, it could be reversed, guys. You know, seeing a woman, but right now I'm gonna say the woman seeing a guy. Okay. okay? Since we tend to hear so much mm -hmm. about, so quote, the guy is such a dog. Why? Right? Okay. We got what we tend to hear. Okay. In society. Okay. okay. But you ladies have seen this guy, and you've seen them with someone else. Mm hmm And you've seen them not be a good candidate, okay, mm -hmm. for a mate. Okay. All right. I just I'm I'm kind of being a little proper, you know. Uh -huh. uh, um, not be a good candidate. In other words, they don't have a good character. They didn't treat that woman right. Okay. And all that. Right. But you go and you hook up with them. Mm -hmm. After all that you've seen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then when they start doing that to you, you want you at, you get all bit out of shape and upset, like. It ain't supposed to happen to you. That, that happened to her, but it ain't supposed to happen to you. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm, all right. I, I got that joke. There's, there's that one. So that's the sign. That's one of them. Okay. You all know, right. that's that's like that's like when you when somebody on the outside look and be like, did you see them signs? <laughs> <laughs> they put they they put their hand on the hip and they be shaking the hip. Lord have mercy, they got a big one. But if, if they, they they be shaking their hips, they Oh, did you see them signs? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I thought maybe I could change them, you know. But, yeah, yeah. But didn't you see them signs? Yes. All yes, right. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. But you want to act all surprised <laughs> when it happened to you. Okay. All right. Okay, Jay. Sign number two. Sign. Here goes another sign. All right. All right. You know this person. Um, you know, I, I, when I was in elementary school, um, you know, a lot of kids have bullies, mm -hmm. okay? And bullies do get their reputation in school. Yes. I mean, even if you ain't never met them, you done heard about them, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you done heard of Roscoe, <laughs> you don't right. mess with Roscoe, all right? Okay. All right. Um, and... Uh, which is a sign, okay? You know, everybody's saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. You ain't gotta see it happen, right? But you, you hear the temper that Roscoe yes. has, yes, and yes. all that, mm -hmm. and you got the nerve to try to say something act that might that you pretty much will almost know would aggravate somebody you won't even take the chance i mean you know you'd mm -hmm. be like well maybe they just won't get mad at me you know if i say it you know uh it's kind of like that you know and you go and you throw something up in front of them and now they all on top of you mm -hmm. and you gonna be all surprised when you get beat up oh right right <laughs> Right, because right. the signs is there. The sign is there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, but you know, Jay. I mean, you know, we're talking about you know making light of it, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, I mean, it's a, uh, of course a serious matter that a lot of us um, deal with or mm -hmm. have dealt with mm -hmm. in the past. Um, I, I would like to think that for the most part, um, uh, that will that will come out of you know grow out of growing mm -hmm. you know uh uh you mature more mm -hmm. you know knowing who you are getting to know who you are or getting to know who you are or mm -hmm. just mature period right um mm -hmm. you know I, I would like to think now we do still make you know of course different mistakes but as far as relationships are concerned mm -hmm. as it opposed to a man and a woman as you get older it it, it should be you know, when you've learned enough mm -hmm. not to make those mistakes mm -hmm. so much or mm -hmm. as much as mm -hmm. you were, as you did when you were right. a lot younger. Mm -hmm. Okay. You start paying attention to the signs. I mean, because at a certain age, you should not definitely dismiss it. Mm -hmm. The sign is there. It's there for a reason to inform you that, hey, you might want to look into this thing a little bit more. Um so why as women 
we do have a tendency, not all, ladies, hear me when I say not all, do have a tendency of looking past those signs for several reasons. There are there's, there's mm -hmm. several reasons that, that we do it. One, because we feel it won't happen to us, like you may mention of, or two, we think that we possibly, okay, can gear him into being a better man. Mm. Okay, all right. Um, so, oh, the, <laughs> I mean, I, Jay, I know you're going to yeah. come with it in a few minutes, but right. let me just say, okay, not to the point mm. of trying mm. to, mm. okay, I, 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 mm. <laughs> to the okay, point. okay, to the point of, this has been, it's been said. It's been in the back. Oh, I can I can shape him. Mm. I can I can mold him into what I want him to be. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, it's it was mm. it's a mistake to think that ladies that you can shape him mm. or mold him into what you're gonna put it this way. It's gonna be more heartache and headache for you than anything. Mm. Um, so mm. the signs are there, whether we want to see them and accept them or walk away from it when the signs are there ladies the signs are there and we're not just talking about on the bad side i mean even you know um uh, uh, for for the for the most part on the good side as well if if, if you you know see he has a, a a track record of being nice kind and, and you've seen this that can work to your advantage as well just like the signs of a guy that's not you know what you want to call kind compassionate um got a lot of women on the outside or whatever that can that's a sign as well hmm, you know you just made a good point <laughs> because this is what I, I i also i'm sure a lot of guys have heard this this comment you know uh they have been rejected or turned down by some women and they be like saying you know He's a little. He's too. You too nice. Uh huh. You, I'm yeah. Like, like too nice. Too nice. Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, ain't that what? Isn't that what you want? Oh, you rather have somebody banging your head <laughs> against Ooh. the wall, uh, banging on your head. Uh, uh, you know, is this nice enough? Why? Right. <laughs> I mean, but, is this? Nice? But Jay, I mean, you're in just all honesty, nice, you just you know, too nice. You're just too nice. Ah, you you nice. I you mean, like, I have. I personally, I well. I, Actually, I have a a, a, mm. a girlfriend back home. This was many years ago, mm. and that was her. Mm. That was her mindset. Mm. You know, she because we used to talk about you know the kind of guys that we would like in our life, that type of thing. And hers was always, I don't want, I don't want anybody that's too that's that's nice. That's you know that's too nice because I'm not gonna do anything but run over him. Mm. Those were her words. Yeah. Okay, mm. I'm not gonna do anything but she run over him. Run over. Uh, yeah, yeah, she, that's mm. she, she was gonna run over him. Mm. And so, needless to say, mm. she got the kind of guy mm. that she was asking for. Mm -hmm. Okay, she got she she ran into this guy, and when I tell you, and this is no joke, it's not a laughing matter. I don't condone um, um, uh, violence against women in any kind of way. But when I tell you he did possibly everything that he can do to her, he did. Mm -hmm. Okay. But guess what? Over, I mean, she stayed with this guy for years. Mm -hmm. Because she loved him. Oh. Okay. Because she loved him. But um, she was in and out the hospital. Mm -hmm. You know, bruises. Mm -hmm. That type of thing. Um, this body damage. Nice guy, yeah, huh? yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. she realized... Mm -hmm. It took some years, mm -hmm. but then she realized mm -hmm. that guess what? That really wasn't the guy that she wanted. Mm. Mm. Okay, really? so the signs was there. Mm -hmm. Okay, before she married him. Now she married him. Mm -hmm. They didn't get married until several years after they had met. Mm -hmm. But he was already into you know him putting his hands on her that type mm -hmm. of thing from day one, pretty mm -hmm. much. But so she ended up marrying him. But it took for him to go to jail. And she divorced him mm -hmm. while he was in jail. Mm -hmm. That's just how bad it had gotten. You know, so the signs were there. But again, you have to be careful what you what you what you ask for too. Mm -hmm. yeah. You gotta be careful what you ask for. Yeah, be careful <laughs> what you ask for. Man. Um you know, because in today's times we we're seeing a lot of couple relationships mm -hmm. moving even going into marriages yeah. um 
and for whatever reason I would say uh, many of them are going into it for the wrong reasons the wrong, reason. wrong reasons yeah. um, the predicating that it is the right reason but it, when they later can't come to come to, the, mm -hmm. come to to say to themselves no I got married you know for all the wrong reasons mm -hmm. of course there, there was a play that was not named that mm -hmm. um, um, and uh, and the the sad thing about it not surprising just sad thing about it um, because a lot of things that happen in life can be sad mm -hmm. it don't have to be surprising mm -hmm. it just can be sad yeah. um, and uh, that 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 with many of those folk um, they it was it was later it was later in the relationship way later before they really began to get in touch with their own self identity self identity mm -hmm. to um, you know to actually tell themselves the truth mm -hmm. of what they see you mm -hmm. know the signs all that mm -hmm. what they see mm -hmm. um, that it, it just that's not even just a, you know applied to couple relationships that's a, to a whole lot of things. I yeah. mean, you know, um, quite often, uh, even in church, we, we hear folk that go in a church and, you know, part of that is part of the false expectations. You, okay. know, you know, like you were saying, they go into a relationship, they, mm -hmm. the false expectation that they can make the yeah. man change the man, yes. uh -huh. recreate the man, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, yes. And, mm -hmm. uh, and brothers, y'all, yeah, it's the same way. Even though you might think you got control of the woman, that don't mean you you making them. They might be fearful of you. Mm -hmm. That don't mean that you have made them. They, you know, uh, they're just reacting out of fear. Mm -hmm. All right. It don't mean you recreated them, reprogrammed mm -hmm. them, you know, or anything like that. It just means that they're just reacting out of fear. They're not reprogrammed. Mm -hmm. But one day. You might wake up and find that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. so they reprogram. All right. All right. Yes. And I hope you don't have to wake up to do a hot bowl of yes. grits. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's right. Um, That's it. Yeah. So, um, uh, like, uh, what was that Tyler Perry movie? Uh, um, the uh, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Uh huh. You know? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Um, yes. You know, uh, whereas uh, it made it made it look like the man was so he thought he had control mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of the woman. Mm -hmm. No, he, she was just like that fear. And one day that fear that fear went out. <laughs> that fear went out. Yeah. <laughs> and, yes. uh, so you know, there there it will come a day. All it right. Will. There will come a day. It will. All right. It will. It will. Okay. So when you talk about, you know, um, like we're talking about the, the Tyler Perry movie, um, she was in a position that most women, not all women, you know, find themselves in when they're in a relationship where they have, you know, just given their all to the relationship, to the marriage. Um, to the man and just start accepting mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he wants, you know, for the sake of love, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, and, and she really, I'm sure at some point and, and still at that time in the marriage when she was going through, still loved him, but she was, he was, he didn't love her. And because he didn't, he was just, you know, doing everything that he could possibly do. And she was accepting it. Well, I'll tell you one thing that, that was uh, interesting enough. Uh, do you notice, okay, the guy in, the, in that play or in the movie, um, uh, more so, more so in, in the play, I think, than, than the movie, because both of them were good, mm -hmm. same, pretty much the same context. Um, the, the guy was just, he was physically abusing her, emotionally abusing her, and uh, mentally abusing me. and um, the thing that came as a surprise to her was that she he had another woman <laughs> and that was surprise. I'm like really if he gonna dog you out disrespect you think you're not yeah. worth nothing all that you mean to tell me that would be a surprise it that he was, would yeah. you know 
and she was like really surprised. Yes. Yes. She <laughs> you was. know that there was wow. another woman, mm -hmm. even after all that, and it was like it's like you know, really. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Um. So um. Uh. You know it's it's that it's. There are really a lot of signs, and I and uh, you know I started going to the church thing. You know, like we have uh, some people that uh, get surprised when they it's false expectation. Like mm -hmm. I said, uh, when we see the sign, you know, some people go to church to go to a church, a church building, and they uh, you hear them start talking. Well, you know, I'm gonna leave that church and go somewhere else, mm -hmm. and because there's a mm -hmm. whole bunch of crazy folk in there. It's a whole, you know, it's mm -hmm. lies, gossipers, mm -hmm. you know crazy folk and all you know it's just going on in there uh scandalous folk uh well yeah <laughs> uh, well yeah. i mean you know um what are the signs even the even the bible in the word says that is what i mean look at look at uh christ's disciples all of them <laughs> those mm -hmm. were his handpicked mm -hmm. folk and mm -hmm. you know you had one that was stealing out of the bag, a thief, <laughs> uh, out of the money bag. You had <laughs> one you just didn't believe in nothing. Down yeah, top, right. you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, you, we yeah. had we had meddling folk, you know, mm -hmm. always meddling mm -hmm. other folk business. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, so I mean, in, in Christchurch. Had a bunch of, um, uh, I would say, um, dysfunctional, di dysfunctional <laughs> folk. All right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Dysfunctional. Uh, his disciples, that is. And it was handpicked. Yes. Okay, handpicked. All right. Um, uh, what else would you would you expect? E expect? Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, yeah. What else would you expect? Yes. And and the thing of it is, you wouldn't know where where the perfect church was anyway, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. you know, as we we keep explaining, the church like a hospital. Mm -hmm, just, mm -hmm. All those that's in the hospital are sick. Yes. Reason yes. you went to the hospital because you were sick and mm -hmm. need a dose or something. Mm -hmm, all right. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you end up with all the other sick folk. All right. Yes. So uh -huh. just get a comfortable seat. You know, like they say, take a number, and you, mm -hmm. you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Uh, get your medicine. All yeah. right. Yeah. And and, and and keep working at getting healed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. So, um, but folks want to get all bit out of shape when they've seen the signs. All right. Um, okay. And they want to act so, so surprised if somebody's lie on them it, they, that's in the church. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because that was their sickness. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, and I mean, it just goes on and on. The surprise shooting in the neighborhood. Yeah, uh -huh. you yes. know, um, it, it, we here. I, you know, I love Maddie. I just, I guess, I keep patronizing uh, Tyler Perry, but he okay. he just makes so many great points. He does in his he does. in his real life rational and realistic yes. point yes in his plays and movies mm -hmm. um I, I appreciate him so much all right um so i'm just giving his in his accolades uh and his kudos so um but in one of his plays he has a cat well several of the plays he has his he has this one character named maddie and uh and Maddie tends to make this statement quite often. She makes this statement, you know, when, when somebody then says somebody done died, she's like, Lord, people just die like they ain't never died before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, oh, okay. I, I found that to be so comical. I know I it's, it's part of the comedy. But I have heard people say that in real life. 
you know, people just die like they ain't never died before. And I know that's where they got it from. Okay. Because people do say that in real life. So, wow. You know, it's, it's plays and movies wow. are based upon a lot of realistic uh, things. Like they um, ain't never died before. And, and, yeah, right. Like it's another it, way right. you can die? Well, you know, uh, <laughs> of course they ain't died like they never, because they never did die until they died. <laughs> people just die like they ain't never died before. <laughs> oh, oh, they did oh, until oh. they died. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. that's 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 right, Jay. Yeah. I mean, you know, so when you talk about, um, you know, seeing the signs, you know, and 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 even though we're talking about right now, um, the re um re relationship between a man and a, a man and a woman, I mean, and you have told us um on several shows, all the shows that you know any relationship that you have with another person right. is a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, so, um, and, and that can, you know, stretch out, you know, to family. You know, we all, you know, have a family. We all had them family members, you know, who uh, come around. You know, you don't really want them around for whatever reason, you know. And, and the signs are there, you know, because they done stole from Uncle Jesse's house mm -hmm. last Christmas mm -hmm. when you had them over at the yeah. house. And then you have them over this Christmas, mm -hmm. then you wonder why all of your fine china and mm -hmm. your silverware is gone. Mm -hmm. And now you really can't believe, I can't believe you said, well, why? Because he stole from Uncle Jesse last year, mm -hmm. you know, so the signs is there, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, but that can branch out into a mm -hmm. whole lot of, you know, mm -hmm. different avenues when you talk mm -hmm. about seeing the signs. Mm -hmm. So I guess the most important thing that we have to look at now is that do we adhere to the sign take heed to what we that what what we see mm -hmm. or what we hear and 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 uh you know and um do something about it at that point right you know right. do something about it uh, uh another thing you know yeah we, we you know that's that's true do we do we really tell ourselves the truth about the things we see mm -hmm. um and another thing that, that i want to bring up is um you know we we hear so much and this is going to be the message i guess to the religious establishment we hear so much not just the religion but, but really even the community we hear so much about um we need to set up something to um to work on our kids mm -hmm. you know uh to, to especially more so toward the church and religious establishment but um to work on our kids uh, you know, to uh, to uh, bring them out of their mind, the mindset, mm -hmm. you know, of the gang and all the sex permiss uh, permissivity. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, 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 and and the thing that I say now, we might talk about, you know, the gang and and all that, the uh, the violence, but when it comes to the sex, here's what I hear uh, quite a lot. Unless that ch unless that youth, I don't want to say child. Unless that youth is twelve or over, or really about fourteen and over, then the church and the religious organizations tend to want to say, and even parents tend to want to say this to about their youth from all of, all the way down. I mean, to when they can talk and understand, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, well, they too young to be talking about certain things. Uh -huh. Listen, that's why we a lot of folk are so surprised when you're finding out this ten year old and got pregnant. Yes, all right. That's right. Uh, yeah. Because because yeah. Uh, the signs are is that uh, while while everybody's covering up, mm -hmm. covering up, and I say overprotecting. You mm -hmm. think you're protecting. Because you're saying, well, they're too young. We don't want to br bring sex mm -hmm. conversation mm -hmm. to them because they're too young. If you don't bring it, then the school and the public and mm -hmm. society is going to mm -hmm. bring it. Mm -hmm. If you don't attend to it, then mm -hmm. school and pop public school and society will attend to it. Okay. Because, um, because what you don't deal with the reverse the opposite we'll deal with mm -hmm. and they're going to definitely teach them the hard and rough mm -hmm. and probably more and, and because graphic way graphic can, yes graphic yes. and yes. graphic way yeah then then you, you could and the best thing is to, is to start saying uh because you see the signs mm -hmm. that is possible it the only way 
you can strategize against something mm -hmm. is to see it, mm -hmm. call it what it is, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, and then move forward as though it is it, most likely possible it's that it would be. Possible. Yeah, so yes. if yes. it's most likely possible, then deal with it approach those kids mm -hmm. I, i'm not saying you're approaching them as if you're trying to convict them or you, right. you know your 10 year old is acting sick mm -hmm. having sick mm -hmm. but no you approach it as though it's possible mm -hmm. that your you your, your child yes. can can have mm -hmm. but, and you you approach it and you're like you know well baby you know i know you're 10 years old mm -hmm. but i want to sit down and talk with you i don't know if you out there because i ain't with you 24 mm -hmm. 7. Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh don't forget Grown up, you were young too. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. We yes. had a few. We had a few. Few good, goody, goody. Uh -huh. You know, goody, goody kid. Just, just as well mm -hmm. as 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. Still mm -hmm. was a few goody, goody. But then there was a whole lot of us grown folk mm -hmm. when we were young. Mm -hmm. Uh, used to. You know, soon we get our mama daddy sight. That's right. Boy, it was, uh, and I like that movie, The Preacher's Daughter. You know, you saw soon. You know, they that her, her uh, um, they were going to supposed to be going to the store or something like that, and they they she was all dressed up, dressed up all the way down in okay. her pants or something, or dressed all the way all the way down past her knee, and uh, her daddy was a, was a pastor of the church. A friend came, they were both all dressed mm -hmm. nice and neat, you mm -hmm. know, to mm -hmm. the pastor's approval. <laughs> Soon as they got the car, in the car, got around the block, they changed clothes, <laughs> got hot to try, and went to the club. <laughs> all right? Come back home, all dressed back yeah, down. Yeah, okay? Now, parents, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying That's that your, your child right. is like that. Yeah. All right? But come on, let's keep it real. Mm -hmm. We are a realistic show. Mm -hmm. Some <laughs> us as parents, when we were young, had some ways mm -hmm. that that our parents may not even still know about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. you so the reality is, you've seen the sign based upon what maybe you might have done. Absolutely, and then Absolutely. if it. If it happens, just so happens, something happens that's outside of your sight mm -hmm. and outside of where you, uh, you, you there didn't happen in your environment or your presence, mm -hmm. uh, is really not a surprise because you know it's possible. It mm -hmm. was possible when you were young. Absolutely. So okay. why isn't it possible uh, right, now? Right, All right, the more so. Right. Even more so. Yes. So, you know, going to that, 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 you know, that daughter and the son, you know, whatever, you know, I know, you know, you're 10 years old, but I do know this much. Hey, I know it's possible. Mm -hmm. I ain't with you 24-7. Yes. But I, yes. I, but, but I'm going to tell you this much. I'm going to, let me tell you about, and, and the only thing, I, I, I'm going to tell you one thing. Uh, my dad, my dad is a retired pastor, but when he was pastor. The parsonage, or that's the church owned mm -hmm. home. The church owned, you know, they, they own that home. That's where, you know, a lot mm -hmm. of churches have a have own a home, mm -hmm. a house that the, they put the pastor up. Yes. Okay. The church parsonage, uh, that's for those that didn't know, uh, was right across the parking lot. It, you know, the parking lot in the street in the house. Okay. And one time, the first one was right next door to the church. Mm -hmm. All it was was a was the driveway right between mm. them, okay? But it wasn't then, because I was way too little then. But when it was across across the parking lot, across the street from the church, which you could still see, um, my, uh, one thing I appreciate my dad for, for uh, and I used to play in a club band, okay? And, uh, um, Church members will always get on, you know, pastor, we hear some, some boogaloo music, <laughs> some get down music coming from your house, and that's the church on positive, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> right? And the one thing he would, he would tell them, uh, was that I've had a talk with my son, you know, I've had a, and he did, he, uh -huh. um, he, you know, I've had a talk with my son, 
but I can't make them do anything, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you know, what, you know, what if I, I take all that on? When he gets around his friends, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and he was very realistic about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, he was like, you know, when he gets around his friends, what do I really know what he's doing? Yeah. Yeah. What do, what do, do yes. he really, he's like, I'd rather that he have his, his band, if that's what he's going to do, be in my eyesight mm -hmm. where I can watch and see what he's doing mm -hmm. rather than for him to be out there sneaking around mm -hmm. trying to do things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and in my older years, I see that was really a wise move. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Because then he could say, he, you know, he could say, they're just over there playing. Mm -hmm. They're not, you know, they, mm -hmm. you know, they, they ain't got no alcohol, no, no right. drinks, no drugs, mm -hmm. no, no nothing. You know, because I can see what they're uh -huh. doing. Uh -huh. You know, uh, and uh, so, um, uh, and he, he, but in the, the other thing, you know, he taught us about cho choices and all that. Right. So. Um, and which is really true. You don't really never know the path of another person. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you be trying to make them mm -hmm. be a certain way. Mm -hmm. And many times a person mm -hmm. does the opposite of what you trying are to trying make, to make them. force That's them true. to do. Yes. Because they rebel against yes. it. Because they yes. have this little thing in their mind. And we all have it. You can't make me do nothing. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You can't yeah. make me do nothing. My mama and daddy ain't trying to make <laughs> me do nothing. You know, you ain't my mama and daddy. <laughs> I mean, so, yeah. um, so you know, we 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 do it many times. Um, Turn the blind eye. Mm -hmm. You know, Jay. I was I was thinking about um, as you were talking about you know, um, children. Um, you know, not being in your sight at all times. You know, twenty four hours a day, and as parents. There's no way possible that you can, uh, your children can be in your, your sight all the time like mm. that. And I was actually reminded of, if you remember um, the TV show that used to come on, Good Times. Yeah. And it was actually a scene where, you know, Walona had adopted Penny, and Penny was her daughter, which was right. played by mm. Janet Jackson. Mm. And she had a classmate that had gotten pregnant, and they were somewhere around that age, 10, mm. 13, you know, and she had gotten pregnant. And so the... Uh, uh, Florida was talking to her about it and everything and mm. she kept saying that the little girl you know has stomach mm. mumps mm. and that was that was no mm. that was what what Lona mm. was saying right. was that she had stomach mumps mm. when Penny and Florida were talking and Penny told her well it looked like she pregnant to me mm. Mm -hmm. and so Florida asked oh you know what you know being pregnant is you know what it's about and so she was like yeah so Florida and Walona of course were best friends and was tr Florida was trying to talk to Walona about mm -hmm. it and say, well, look, she's at that age. She's understanding. She understands a lot, a lot more than mm -hmm. what you think she does. You need to go ahead and sit her down and talk to her. Mm -hmm. And Walona was just insisting against it. No, she's too young. I'm not going to do that. And mm -hmm. they ended up falling out. I think mm -hmm. that was one of the, the mm -hmm. first times and the only time they ever just fell out and didn't mm -hmm. talk to each other no more. And, um... Fell out, didn't talk to each other. Walona stopped Penny from coming over mm. and everything. Mm. And it was just a bad time because they, their friendship had been so close. Well, anyway, um, one of Penny's classmates, I, I'm sure y'all can recall this episode. Mm. One of Penny's classmates, who happened to be a, a boy in her class, had some gym shorts that belonged to his sister. And mm. she wanted them back. So he wanted to, you know, go get mm. the shorts back. And he was trying to rape her. He, mm. he was got to the point to where he just... He he uh, was trying to rape her, and Penny broke her loose from him and everything. Mm -hmm. And so Florida was like, "Look, you have to tell her because she mm -hmm. understands. You have to let her know, mm -hmm. you know." And Walona, it wasn't until that happened that Walona actually came to herself and realized that it could possibly be because of, of course, what had happened with Penny and this and this young guy at that time. So you know, so the sign when. The signs are there, especially now in this day and age. I'm not saying, you know, it didn't happen when we were growing up, Jay, mm -hmm. like you said, because it did. But especially now with uh, with uh, young girls being, you know, more developed and mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. now, you have to be careful of that thing. You cannot deny the signs. If they're sneaking out the house with one thing on and, and you catching them and you seeing them and somebody else is seeing 
that's a sign you need to get you need to handle that as soon as possible mm -hmm. at least get to the bottom of it and see you know what can I do now now that I've seen this don't deny the signs mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't deny the signs mm -hmm. whatever that sign is don't deny it mm -hmm. you know but we're talking about it as it opposes to you know to relationship because for the most part we do make that mistake and just denying the sign or you know closing our eyes or that ain't what I saw or it'll be better mm -hmm. you know it'll be all right I ain't gonna worry about it. that's you know that'll pass and we make the mistake in doing that mm -hmm. yeah and that's uh, <laughs> I guess another Tyler Perry show you I think you mentioned it one time before um, why did I get married mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. that the play in the movie mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. whereas uh, you know uh, her best friend uh, this lady's best friend kept telling her, you know, uh, she needs to be watching her husband because he's spending way too much time with her girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be her best friend. Mm -hmm. That was mm -hmm. supposed to be her best friend. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. and spending way too much time, especially alone, mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. with her. Mm -hmm. And she was like, "Nah, that's my best friend. I trust her with, with everything, yeah. you know. And that's my husband." Uh, now. Um, and now he's already treat like I was saying at the beginning of the show bad. was he's already treating the bad, bad yes. already treating the bad, but um, and and came to find out um, the the uh, her uh, her other good friend the good one mm -hmm. not the bad best friend mm -hmm. uh, that she was trying to protect but the good one uh, who was really worthy of being called mm -hmm. okay yes a uh, good friend should have been the best friend but uh um she just finally busted out your husband is having an affair with her <laughs> you may well go on to, uh, to you know to, told the other girl the bad girl told her you may well go on telling the truth and uh so it finally came out mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. now the, the you know the Jill wife Scott. Yeah. yeah just got uh she was was in like all in shock she in, was, in the movie. Yes, it was all yes. in sh shock and surprise. Yeah. You, yes. you, you, you mean like really? You didn't see them side? Really? Mm. Uh huh. All right. Mm. Um. Uh. But you did. You know. You said something else. You know. Not all seeing the signs got to be bad mm -hmm. signs. You know. Mm -hmm. There are good signs. Yes. You know. And 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 sometimes. Um, uh, you know, they're a good sign, seeing a good sign. Um, but but then, um, <laughs> even seeing good signs, we can still have a shocking or surprising attitude. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, here's one. Uh, and, uh, well, I don't mind. I guess I should. I should. I speak well. He deserves it. My, my, um, my, my father... Uh, mm -hmm. who uh, had labored uh, for many, many years mm -hmm. as um, uh, in civil rights and political venues, mm -hmm. uh, working in community. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. I already shared he, he was a uh, very strong and effective pastor. Um, you know, for labored uh, for over 40 years, really mm -hmm. like about almost 60 years mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. in all these venues uh, and um, very popular in media. Mm -hmm. uh, now, when, and I'm just using him as, as an example. There are many other people, all right? He's not the only one. Just uh, I can say it about him because hey, he's my dad. That's but, right. Um, but has, uh, you know, uh, has presented himself, and then when he is presented by the NAACP National mm -hmm. Convention. This is the National Convention mm -hmm. of the NAACP. Mm -hmm. Not a little local area. Yes, the right. national of all the states mm -hmm. of the of the United States. This is the this uh it, um he was awarded and and during that time he was awarded uh President Obama and President uh Clinton spoke mm -hmm at this convention okay. that's how big yeah. this this, okay. this particular convention mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. to have both of the presidents mm -hmm. there uh president and former president there speaking 
Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and they had some other uh, big name representatives yes. that was there. Mm -hmm. Okay. During this convention, he was awarded the Keepers of the Flame Award. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, this is the convention of the United States, the of the whole organization. There are thousands upon thousands of men who have or people, not just men, mm -hmm. women too. Yeah, people who have thing. labored, mm -hmm. who are who were mm -hmm. also worthy of the award, who are also worthy of the award, and and uh, however he received it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there were a lot of people surprised. You mean he got the award? Mm. You know, mm -hmm. and well, you've seen the signs. It yeah, was possible. Yeah, signs, it yes. was possible, just as possible as anybody, yes. as any of the other people that yes. labor. Yes, yes, yeah, you know. Yes, and, and um, mm -hmm. so yeah, you know, um, you know, why do we, you know, why do we be acting so surprised when, mm -hmm. when folk, uh, when folk. Uh, 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 you know, well, when folks do things or whatever, you know, shooting in the street, I, that's another one, you know, um, mm -hmm. these terrorist situations, mm -hmm. okay? We know what terrorists do. Mm -hmm. We know how they plot. We, we know that their aim is to hurt and kill people. As many people, as, many as, people as possible. Yes. We know that they are active, mm -hmm. okay? Now watch this. Um, and it just have to, it just doesn't have to be terrorists, but I'm gonna use the terrorists. Uh, you know, um, we know that it's always possible because they they have these human bombs now. Mm -hmm. That you yeah. know, we know that's part of the, of terrorism. Mm -hmm. And it's all, but when it happens, we're like, oh man. Man, man, you see what the terrorists did? Man, did you see what they did? Yeah. Mm. I, people call me nonchalant so much because I guess, because I'm not surprised. I'm never not surprised by, by stuff, you know, because um, I know it's possible. I'm, yes. I'm just not surprised. It's not like some big hit news, you know. Mm. Um, I know that sounds a little shrewd, no. but I'm but I'm not surprised. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you talk about, um, you know, Jay, I mean, we're talking about, you know, the signs, um, seeing the signs, recognizing the signs, um, whether we, you know, we have a choice at that point is that when we when we see the signs to address it, then mm -hmm. um, we have a tendency sometimes of sweeping up sweeping it up under the rug thinking that it's going to go away. Mm -hmm. You know, right. it's, it's going to go away. If I don't look at it, if I don't see it, then I don't have to, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to address it or anything like that. But that's when you do yourself the most harm. When you, when you sweep it up under the rug and act like it doesn't exist. At least if you don't do anything, you know, but to thy own self be true. You know, mm -hmm. that's the same. But if, if, even if you're true with your own self and say, you know, and say, well, you know, yes, this is what it is. At least if you honest with yourself and be true to yourself, then that's your first step in you dealing with and taking the steps that you need to take in order to rectify the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. But don't just not, you know, um, uh, deny it and act like it's not there. Mm -hmm. um, I think I um, talked about this one other time, you know, Jay, on the show with... I found out that my son was first diagnosed, you know, with autism at a, at a young age. When I got the first um, diagnosis, um, it wasn't that I was accepting it or anything like that, but the thought was in my mind that this is a possibility, that this is what it is. So I got a second opinion mm -hmm. and I got a third opinion. And then once it came, I then, okay, so now what do I do? I address the situation. Okay, now their thing was at that time because they didn't know a whole lot about autism was that they wanted to pretty much study, mm -hmm. you know, you know, was it uh, um, something that was, you know, developed in the genes or was it something that happened afterwards? They wanted to study it. And, you know, and their thing was that, well, he'll never learn how to do this. He'll never learn how to gave me a list of things that he would never learn how to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but because I wasn't willing to accept it, even though that what they were saying was a sign as mm -hmm. to the condition 
but because I wasn't willing to accept it as that um, I worked with him mm -hmm. okay to get him to a level mm -hmm. that they said would never be possible for him mm -hmm. you know so even though the sign was there I didn't I didn't negate it I didn't you know sweep it up under the rug and act like everything was okay you you have to address it and then take steps to deal with that thing mm -hmm. it doesn't mean you're I mean you're, you're you're turning the blinds out to it if you see it you take the steps that you have to take in order to rectify that thing so now we're talking about you know in a relationship if you got a man if your mm -hmm. man and I and I'm saying this you know because it's a, 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 a women for a women's standpoint if you if your man your friend your fiance husband if you knew that he had a drinking problem when y'all first mm -hmm. started talking mm -hmm. and you knew that drinking was going to be a deal breaker for you then maybe you should have you should have thought about that thing a little bit more because mm -hmm. now what he's a full-blown drinker mm -hmm. you know he's an alcoholic mm -hmm. you know it don't have to be to that level but he's a full-blown drinker now and now it's something you can't deal with mm -hmm. because you didn't address it mm -hmm. you know in the beginning you know you turned the blinds out to it because he said he was just an occasional drinker mm -hmm. or he drank to be sociable but I'm using that as an example but you know you can use that in any aspect of your life whatever you are dealing with you know if the signs are there and you see them don't sweep it up under the rug mm -hmm. right yeah you, you ain't got to sweep it under the rug because when you do that yeah you you um you really open up your uh, to yourself um, the possibility of tragedies mm -hmm. um, that uh, could take place, and um, uh, and and it really it really can produce a very tragic, very mm -hmm. very tragic mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. in your mm -hmm. life. Um, yes, that's true. So you know, it's it's important. It's important to um, to really be honest with yourself on a whole on on a um, on a whole big level. I mean, on multiple yeah. levels. Yeah. Be honest with yourself with the things that yes. you say. Yes. Um, that's true. You know, I know it, it, if if you listen carefully to to the show today. We weren't talking about everything being mm -hmm, bad. There, mm -hmm. there are some good points, mm -hmm, all right. Mm -hmm. But one thing that's very, um, very, very uh, true is that when you, you know, when you see some, call it that. I mean, you know, um, if if somebody done called you the B word. Uh, Call it that. <laughs> don't, 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 oh. don't, just don't turn around. Oh, I was just playing. Yeah. You don't be playing with the B word. Mm. All right. That's called disrespect. Mm. A person who respects you mm. wouldn't even approach the word in the mm. first place. All right. Mm. So mm. call it what it is. It's disrespect. Mm. So just say that person disrespected me. No matter what they were playing or not. Mm. <laughs> because a person who really respects you would not even address using that word. Yes. All right? Yeah. All right. And you know, since we're talking about that, Jay, you know, and, 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 and people try to make light of that word. Oh, we know what the B word is. It's a female dog. Well, you know, but you, you already know when you say it out your mouth, be it, uh, uh, and, and I'm saying mostly for men because men got, you know, they're, you know, flip it out. <laughs> You know, in a minute. It's so bad you know, now. Women, well, women, use it. <laughs> women, 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 call, women use it about as equally as men nowadays. Uh, you think so? Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They use about as equally as men do. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, but the point I'm making on that is mm -hmm. that that word is not anything that's meant to lift up. When somebody said out their mouth, you already know what it's meant to do when it come out. It's not to come to lift you up. It's to come to tear you down, mm -hmm. you know. And so in saying that, I have to agree with the statement you just made about, you know, if you you know, your man friend, your husband, yeah, I ain't going to say, uh, I don't know, husband, or some of us have, mm -hmm. you know, you and whoever you in a relationship with, let that word fly out of his mouth toward you. Then, yes, that's a sign you need to rethink 
the relationship that you in with this guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, because um, if he's saying it, and it's only a matter of time before anything, everything else is going to follow behind that. Mm -hmm. And is that something that you really want to deal with? I mean, it's a show that come on every day. I don't know mm -hmm. if it's sure it still come on. I used to love to watch it, though. But it snap. You know, mm -hmm. women being in relationships mm -hmm. and in marriages where they've been abused, you know, over the years. And they've stayed there and stayed there and stayed there. And then got to the point to where they couldn't deal with it no more. And they snap and mm -hmm. end up taking his life. You know, I'm not saying that's not a good thing. I'm saying, but that kind of, when, when you made the point earlier about how it can be dangerous, mm -hmm. when you refuse to see the signs or when right. you ignore those signs and don't deal with it, whether it's getting out of the relationship or whatever you feel you need to do, that's a sign. It's, it's, it's flashing there for a reason. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's flashing for a reason. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, the church folk, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kind of, I, I guess I hit church folk a lot. I, I, I was asked, why are you always picking with church folk? Well, I'm going to tell y'all why I'm always, always addressing church folk. I didn't uh -huh, say Christians. Uh -huh, I don't, I got uh -huh. a thing about giving out labels, uh -huh. okay? Only God knows if you're a Christian. Uh -huh. All right. If I do, if you going in that church building, I know you church folk, okay? <laughs> so, um, how you come out that's that's what that's up bitch that's up to you okay um but uh the reason i address church folk is because unlike um people who don't who don't go to church or don't read the bible or, and we're not a religious show i we know we deal with facts and mm -hmm. um, and proven statistics and realities okay um uh, so, uh, what's considered the vast high percentage of, um, and it's got to be a very high percentage, like, you know, 85, 90, 99, okay? So, uh, we ain't talking about no 50, 50, <laughs> uh, percentage. So, um, but because they are the ones who tend to go in, um, to go in and get certain teachings are given uh, instructions to understand some things better than those not say the same those that don't go to church don't have a good mind because we all been given a conscience mm -hmm. okay yeah uh, of being able to reason mm -hmm. you don't have to go to church right. and read That's the right. Bible to be able to reason mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. have a conscience mm -hmm. and use your right. conscience because that by itself in with it tells you you know, well, you know, what I see is, um, you know, uh, is what I see, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, you pretty much know what's bad and what's, right. what's good, mm -hmm. all right? Okay, so, um, but this I want to I wanna leave um, as a statement mm -hmm. to all people, mm -hmm. and, and it comes out of the Bible, um, and because, you know, I see, I see church people a lot of times um, praying, uh, we do a lot of prayers. Not saying you're not supposed to pray, but we pray the wrong way. We pray with a false expectation. We pr misapply hope in the wrong way. We pray with as if it's a, a command or order for God to do mm -hmm, something, mm -hmm. rather than to put it in His hand and let Him decide. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, you know. Um, uh, in, we, we and I've even heard people straight out say, you know, God changed this person. Mm -hmm. You know, not God find a way to change this person. You know, but I, I hope that you can put up something in his path. Mm -hmm. All right, because see, watch this illustration, this example. Paul, God didn't change Paul. Paul, he put something in his path. That bright light, anybody been to church, mm -hmm. that bright light and that voice, that's all mm -hmm. there was. And mm -hmm. and Paul recognized himself mm -hmm. and Paul made the change. But God didn't make him change. But God can put things in your path that ought to change you that could. But Proverbs also says that even unto death a person may not change. Mm -hmm. Okay? So so 
with all that going together, because he gives a free will. Free will. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if God makes us do anything, then that means he's a lie and he's mm -hmm. mocked mm -hmm. himself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And God is not a lie and yes. he doesn't mock himself. Mm -hmm. So he, so he's not going to make us do anything. Mm -hmm. Those are those are the factors that you can use everybody to go on to understand that God doesn't make anybody right. do anything. Right. Now he'll he'll put he'll put things in your path that should change you and all the all the all to make some corrections in you. But that doesn't mean that that person will change. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay? That's a free and conscious choice that a person has to make to allow God to come in and make and and take control it's like i give you my money to control and manage for me because i can't manage it myself because i mess it up when that it, when it's in my hand so i want to give you my money to control and manage it and budget it because you know better <laughs> how to do it than i do uh -huh. <laughs> okay uh -huh. all right it's like that okay but you can't do nothing with my money until I turn it over to you. Mm -hmm. All right? All as right, long right. as I'm keeping it to myself, yeah. you can't do nothing for me. You know, all the advice you can give me, like God the word does, all the advice you can give me is not going to get my money managed until I I see that I can't manage it mm -hmm. and turn it over to you. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. Okay. okay. All right. It's Point like eight. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, it, here, I'm going to leave y'all with this scripture um, from Proverbs. From Proverbs 1, verse 20, all the way to the end. All right, y'all listen to this. It says, wisdom shouts in the street. She raises her voices and in the markets. She calls out to the head of the noisy streets where large crowds gather. At the entrance of the city gates, she speaks her words. 22 says, how long will you naive ones, that's the same day as ignorant, uh, and ignorant means doing something opposite from what you know, okay? Will you naive ones, uh, you who are easily misled, mm -hmm. will you love being simple-minded and undiscerning? How long will you scoffers who ridicule and, dis and deride delight in scoffing? How long will you fools who, absol uh, who absolutely mock truth? In other words, uh -huh. you, you know, you see truth, but you say, hey, what it really is. Uh -huh. You see something, you know, they don't cuss you out, but they just in a bad <laughs> mood. You know, okay, mock truth and hate knowledge, okay? If I will, if, if you will turn and pay attention to my uh -huh. rebuke, Behold, I wisdom will pour, which is God, will pour out a spirit on you. I will make my words known to you. 24 says, because I called and you refused to answer. All right? You didn't respond, in other words. Uh, I stretch out my hand and no one has paid attention to my offer. Okay? Then 25 says, and you treated all my counsel as nothing. Somebody done told you, mm -hmm. done, done, done tried to wake you up. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, ain't you seeing how they treat me? You know, you know, if you ain't seen it, have you paid attention to all the stuff that they've been doing? Mm -hmm. And you turn away, you be saying, no, it ain't, that ain't, that can't be true. That can't be true. So you treated all my counsel as nothing and would not accept my reprimand. I also will laugh at your disaster. Mm -hmm. I was talking about God saying that. I will mock you when you dread when your dread and panic comes. When your dread and panic come like a storm and the disaster comes like a whirlwind, and anxiety and distress come upon you as retribution, then they will call up in, you know, folk be ready to get down on their knees and pray, God come to my rescue. Lord, Lord. I mean, you know. Fix this, Jesus. Now, you didn't pay attention to nothing. <laughs> all right. All right. You saw it, but you're going you going, you going to act like it. And, you know, uh, oh, you know, you only got, mm. you only can afford a car payment 
for a hundred and fifty dollars a month, but you just want that Chrysler three hundred, mm -hmm. that brand new one mm -hmm. off off the showroom floor, mm -hmm. that's running almost four hundred a month. Mm -hmm. You done got it, and now you want to go to pray to God because you don't know how you gonna mm -hmm. pay for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right, okay, just stuff like that. All right, then they will call upon me, but I will not answer. Mm -hmm. They will seek eagerly for me. They be showing up mm -hmm. praying. So will be praying. Because they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. That is, obeying him with reverence and all field respect. Mm, there's a respect mm -hmm. thing. They would not accept my counsel. They Then they spurned all my rebuke. Therefore, they shall eat of the fruit of their own mm -hmm. wicked way. Thing that they mm -hmm. chose themselves and be satisfied with the penalty of mm -hmm. their own devices mm -hmm. for the turning away of the naive will kill the ignorant will kill them, will kill them. and the care and the careless ease of self-righteous fools will destroy them but whoever listens mm -hmm. all right calls it what it is all right whoever listens to me will live securely and in uh, confident trust and will be at ease without fear and dread of evil. Mm -hmm. If you just tell yourself the truth mm -hmm. of the stuff you see, yeah. your life could be much more peaceful mm -hmm. and at ease mm -hmm. if you just tell yourself the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, Jack. You won't be so won't. taken and surprised <laughs> if you tell yourself the truth. So that's why folk be so surprised because they don't tell themselves the truth. The truth. So mm -hmm. people, be truthful to thy own self. Mm -hmm. Be true to you. I mean, the signs are the signs. It look, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Just address it and bring peace to your own mind. Your own mind. Your own mind. All right. Well, I'm I'm going to have some peace right now because I'm telling myself the truth. If we, if we, we're at the end of the show. Okay. We, we got to get out of here. All right. Bye-bye. I'm at peace. Bye, y'all. <laughs>